if you were the Secretary of Energy today, what would be your advice to the uh, White House about what to do about this? And, and I'm talking about the, this, this situation in the Gulf, and what is government's role here? Uh, we have a regulatory mechanism. The problem for BP was its failure to follow a checklist. You've got to go down that list, and it was human error just as it was in the Three Mile Island episode. There has been a failure to crack down on BP. We had the accident in the refinery uh, That's right. down in Texas. Yeah. We had the accidents up in Alaska. Uh, we should have cracked down earlier. Uh, we did impose a substantial fine, but it was inadequate to reshape the BP culture. Ultimately, we have to go back to the deep water because, as you say, that's where the best prospects are. The, the on-land United States is kind of like a pincushion after over 100 years of drilling. Two-thirds of Exxon's exploration acreage is in deep water, whether it's in the Gulf of Mexico or other places around the world. An increasing portion of our domestic uh, oil supplies come not only from the Gulf, but from the deep water portion of the Gulf. 30% of our supplies are from the Gulf, and 26% uh, of those Gulf supplies are from deep water. And those numbers are growing bigger and bigger. So sooner or later, we're going to be back there, I think. The question is, how long will it take? How much more cost there will it be? What can we really come up with some uh, guidelines to make this safer? Well, what is the answer to that? Because if, <laughs> if you do have this moratorium, there's going to be an enormous number of people that are going to be put out of work, and not just people working in the oil industry, but restaurants, I mean, uh, oil well service companies. I mean, it, it just goes on and on and on. And that's where I think that the administration is going to have to find a, a, a middle road to walk on this. There's going to have to be a certain set of standards on the safety side that you can demonstrate that uh, what risk is acceptable. And I think it starts in the shallow water, right? Uh, June 27th, there's a, a notification that went out so that, that you have to comply with certain regulations. And I think increasingly you'll, you'll find that, that you'll use those rigs in work over wells or development wells to kind of keep the people employed until you can make a determination. I think the biggest problem is having set up this presidential commission, it's going to be hard to justify going back in the deep water when you don't have a containment policy before the commission rules. So by definition, you're looking at January, February at the earliest, and probably something later. The, the trouble is, we're having great difficulty figuring out in this world society how to keep people accountable, whether it's in government, in big government, or whether it's in big corporations. And so the notion that we're into this negotiation, that we ought to be going by this nice, clean view, well, that's the private sector, and this is the public sector, that just doesn't get it anymore. We haven't figured out the rules of the game as to where the pressures ought to be. Mm -hmm.